welcome to another reaction review video with me Nina Schofield singer songwriter vocal coach and session musician and I am back to watch some more Arajit sing very excited about this because every time I watch him sing I just get more and more drawn into his vocals and his performance technique and what drew me to this particular video was the fact that it doesn't just say the title uh, I hope I'm saying this right in Kalank uh, but it also says that it's an emotional live performance. Just feel it with a little heart emoji. So it must be good and it must be emotional, I guess. Or, I mean, maybe it's happy emotional. Maybe we'll be crying. Maybe we'll be dancing. I really don't know, but we're going to find out and we're going to see what the uh, music is like as well. Just appreciate the overall performance. Are you ready to watch with me? Here we go. Oh, big audience. And he's on guitar as well. Ooh, lovely melodic movement. Mm. I like this already. I love that. That. What is that? it out exactly just yet but I am going to work it out because that is lovely and the subsequent phrases Ooh, push. Ooh. I love the harmonic movement in this I find it so interesting that this is just the guitar and his vocal and yet it is speaking to everyone in such a magnificent way. I really can understand it, even not knowing the song and not really knowing Arijit very well. I feel like he is such a master of his craft and the fact that I'm sat here trying to <laughs> work out all the harmonies of things and and work out exactly what's going on within the theory of the song like that means I'm really hooked um, and you can see the connection with his audience I think he's a really special artist always having that kind of smile bright approach raspiness on this top vocal. Ooh, straight up there. That was such a short performance. Ah, I wish it was twice as long. Really interesting that when he was singing those high notes, he was looking up. It's something that a lot of singers do. Um, I don't know, some kind of psychological aspect of singing up or down, tending to look up and down. And quite often I encourage people to try and think about the neutral position. Um, of course, if you can sing like that and that's how you're feeling on the day, then that's cool. Um, but it can have a, a real impact on what can come out. Anyway, that's just a side note. But yeah, super short. I mean, that was two minutes 12. I have to find out what those chords are though, because they were stunning. And I really like that performance. It captured something, even though it was so short, there was something special about that. 
let me just find out what those chords are. I think that's what it's going to. Ha ha, have I cracked the code? Yes, I think I have. Oh, how exciting. It's very low for me, but I, oh, I love this. I feel like maybe I should learn this song. What do you think, guys? Yay! That's what the missing thing was, because I knew there was an F, but there's also the E in there. You know, that lovely little clash. I'm getting carried away with playing. But you didn't expect to wind up watching someone playing the piano at the end of this video. <laughs> that E. That E is the key. He is the key. Okay, well, anyway, that's enough playing and singing from me and working out theory. And here I am looking entirely different all of a sudden because my camera cut off. So this is me in the future, future Nina, saying thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please do feel free to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already become part of our family here. And you can, of course, find me on Twitter and Instagram at Nina underscore Schofield. And you can find links to all my various services in the description box down below, including my Wizio, where I can help you with your singing and answer any questions you might have for me my patreon with lots of exclusive content and all sorts of other things all in that description box and i'll see you on the next video love you so much bye